Today in this video, I'll be placing Bonk. a protector in the middle of the jungle and make him hold a skull Bonk. in his hand. Are you surprised? Hmm? Hmm? I know you are surprised. Welcome my guys, so here. So as I said, we'll be doing a predicted edit and if you guys want to do the same, you can check the link in description where you can find all the images that I use for this edit and try it yourself. So make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. So with that all being said, let's move on with the video. And you know what time it is? Let's uh, start off with this image right here. I found it from Unsplash. So let's add in our second image which is predicted himself. So let's keep him right about here. And okay. Nice. I used this image and cut out the areas which I only need. Keep it right behind the protector. And then warp it a bit here and the lower area like here and a bit here also. Keep it a bit lower. And then let's cut out this image and keep it right about here and warp it. I don't know why I warp it. Uh, anyway, moving on. And then I used this image and let's keep it right about here and use the warp tool and warp it a bit here and there like this i darken it up uh the image in the background as well and then i give it a blur filter so that it gives a depth of field give some smoke in the background like this nice and he is safe in the area as well like this and add in this light rays on this area and change the blending mode to add and I also give it a blur filter and I erase the areas which I don't need this light rays like his hair and his mouth also like yeah we don't need that on his mouth yeah and then I paint in some shadows on his arm and his armor as well and then some highlights on his jaw isn't that his jaw his mouth whatever yeah his teeth and this area like here on his forehead as well so next uh, let's add in some skulls so yeah we got some skulls here let's keep it right about here like this and let's duplicate that and have some on this side as well uh, right now I'm a bit confused like actually where to put this a few moments later and then I merge them together and give some shadows to it I thought why not let's make him hold a skull on his arm so I cut out the skull and erase the areas which I actually don't need and then let's let's place it right about here and erase the areas which we don't need like we need to see his fingers wrapped around the skull so I erase the areas which I don't need and then let's paint in some shadows beneath his fingers like this and then I made it a bit more shadows like this then highlights on the top like this so let's add uh, I mean like let's draw some uh, blood on his arm like he's bleeding so his blood color is like neon kind of greenish kind of stuff so after painting some blood I made it glow also also painted some blood on the skull that's beneath him to show that it's actually dripping from his arm so that's pretty much it so let's see how this looks after some color grading in Lightroom